Hello, uh, I'm Masha Bennett and this is a very brief introduction to the emotional freedom techniques, uh, also known as the tapping ther uh, therapy. EFT um, uh, combines two different components. Uh, there is stimulation of acupressure points um, and um, there is a psychological component as well. So I will first demonstrate the acupressure points that we use in EFT and then we'll add the psychological part to it. So to start with, I would like you to find your karate chop point. Uh, this is located on the side of your palm, uh, the bit you would use for chopping bricks if you were doing karate. Uh, use your other hand, and it doesn't matter which, um, four fingers of your other hand to tap gently. Quite fast, but not too hard, on the side of your palm. So this is the karate chop point. Uh, next, I'd like you to find the eyebrow point and it is located at the beginning of the eyebrow, uh, just to the side of the bridge of your nose. Use two fingers of your hand just to tap gently in that area. The next point is outer corner of the eye. Uh, we're aiming for the edge of the eye socket. You should feel your bone there. And under the eye, again on the edge of the eye socket and under the nose, again using two fingers, tapping gently under your nose. Uh, on the chin, um, under the lower lip, so we, uh, it is not the end of the chin, but just under the lower lip in that dip. Okay. The next point can be a little bit challenging to find. I'd like you to trace your collarbone with your fingers, and we're aiming for the end of the collarbone, uh, closest to your throat. Some people have a nice knobbly bit sticking out in this area so that it's easier to locate. The actual acupressure point is located between the knobbly bit and the first rib. So there's like a little dip, a little below the collarbone. Some people will tap on the collarbone itself, um, but the actual acupressure point is located in that dip just beneath it. Uh, but that's fine if it's easier for you to tap on the collarbone, uh, that's okay as well. Um, some people have quite flat collarbones and it's more difficult to locate um, the point. In this case, just use your fist and gently tap in that area. Uh, you'll be approximately right. The next point is located under your arm, about 10 centimeters or 4 inches under your armpit. So use your opposite arm, four fingers because it's quite a large area, um, and tap um, um, about four inches under your armpit. If you're a woman you will probably feel your bra in that area. Uh, for, me for men um, it's approximately nipple level. Uh, if you have a large chest it might be easy to tap um, on the same side, a bit of a monkey style. Uh, there are also acupressure points on all the fingers and we aim for the outer edge of the nail. So we begin with the thumb uh, and tap on the outer edge of the nail. Exactly the same with the uh, index finger and exactly the same with the middle finger. Uh, with the ring finger uh, many manuals miss it out altogether. If you do tap on it I would tap on the opposite side and the little finger we tap from the top again. And we finish on the karate chop point where we started. There are some shortcut versions of EFT where we um, only use the face and body points and do not include the fingers. Um, if you do want to use a shortcut then uh, instead of using the fingers what we tend to do is to take uh, one or both of your hands and just gently tap on top of your head. You can use one or two hands. Um, generally when tapping. Some people prefer tapping both sides. Um, I usually tap on one and that works quite well. Um, there are some contraindications for uh, tapping on the head. Um, if you have high blood pressure, um, epilepsy or any head injuries, it's best to omit those points. Um, in this case you can just stop uh, on the, under the arm point or just add an extra point, uh, perhaps one of uh, uh, the standard points that you prefer. Um, many people like the collarbone points so you can uh, return back to that. 
Okay, so these are all the main acupressure points in EFT and once you've had a run through them a few times uh, you will remember them quite easily. Um, the next part is the psychological component to EFT and the main principle is it works best when we're really focused on a specific problem that we're working on. So it may be not enough just to say I'm stressed and tap on stress um, but uh, it would be best to clarify exactly what causes the stress and if there are many causes to pick one, perhaps the most intense, the most difficult one. Um, so for this exercise I'd like to invite you to use a simple problem, something that's quite small. Um, maybe you have a bit of a headache or a bit of tension in some part of your body or maybe there is a feeling of slight irritation with someone at work um, or friend or an acquaintance of yours. Um, so pick something quite small uh, for you to practice with and I'd like you to really focus on that problem and describe it concisely but quite accurately. For example, um, this headache, um, this, this heavy headache in my forehead um, or uh, this irritation with John for not ringing me. Um, and I will invite you to tap with me on your karate chop point um, and say the following statement. Um, um, I, I will uh, say the general word and I will invite you to um, use your own words to describe your problem. So um, I'd like you to say even though I have this problem and describe your problem specifically, even though I have this dot 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 I accept myself anyway. And once again, even though I have this dot dot dot, or even though I'm angry with or irritated with dot dot dot, I deeply and completely accept myself. That's the Californian version. Even though I have this dot dot dot, I deeply and completely accept myself. But then, uh, tap on the beginning of your eyebrow and now our task is just simply to focus on the problem and we name the problem at each point. So um, at each point just say this heavy headache or this irritation with John or whatever the problem is and outer corner of the eye name the problem and under the eye name the problem and under the nose name the problem and on the chin and name the problem again and so on. Tap on the collarbone point and name the problem. Tap under the arm, name the problem. Tap on your finger points beginning with the thumb and the next one and name the problem at each one. Name the problem and the ring finger on the other side and the little finger and name the problem and finish with the karate chop point name the problem okay um, so take a nice deep breath and just focus your attention on the problem that you started working with and just notice does it feel exactly the same or is there anything different about it um, uh, often we may like to give the problem a rating, uh, which I, I forgot to mention, um, but uh, we often rate it from, from, um, on the scale from 0 to 10. Um, looking back at it, uh, when, we, when we first started on the scale from 0 to 10, how intense was that problem? And paying attention to it now, how intense does it feel now? Is it exactly the same? Is it smaller? Is it bigger? Which is also a possibility. Has the quality of the problem changed? Has the location of the problem changed? Which uh, may happen if you're working on the physical sensation or pain. Um, just notice whatever changes uh, there are. And you can continue um, uh, tapping until you obtain significant or full relief. Uh, every time using new words to describe what you're experiencing. For example, um, if your headache moved from your forehead to the back of your head, um, you can begin tapping, even though I have this headache that's now moved to the back of my head, 
um, I accept myself anyway. Um, so we use a self-acceptance phrase at the very beginning of the process and then as we tap on each of the points the only task we have is to focus on the problem and just name it once at each point. And many people will obtain significant relief with just a few uh, rounds of tapping. Um, so have fun with it, try it out, uh, see how it works for you. I hope you enjoy it and get the benefit from it.